So what is the unified namespace? In general, to give a brief introduction, there are three ways on how you can connect different components in an architecture, like very general IT, IT stuff. Uh, the first one are like direct connection service calls, um, like if you're from OT, OPC UA is a common one, client server architecture, where um, you have the components directly talking to each other. It's very easy to get started with, but it very quickly, as more and more components get added, it quickly lands up in spaghetti diagrams because then you have a lot of one-to-one -one connections and then you want to take one component out and then it gets really difficult. Um, the second one is communication via a database. So you take data and you just store it immediately in the uh, database, which is what a lot of people do with historians. Also easy to start with. But there's a big, a big but here. You cannot do any real-time stream processing there. Because you have this way through the database, you, cannot, you have a latency of at least 5, 10, 15 seconds if you use a very quick database. And most you will have something like 60 to 120 seconds, which, I mean, for a lot of stuff, it's good to get started with, like just some basic analytics. But if you want to do some real-time stuff, like you want to tell the operator once you push a button, you want to trigger a traffic light, it needs to be there within a second, you, it's not possible anymore. So then there's the third architecture, the message broker, where it is a little bit more difficult to get started with because you have a new component there. So all these blocks, they don't talk with each other or they don't talk with the database, but instead they talk with a message broker in real time with each other. A um, little bit more difficult to get started with, but then it scales very well as more and more use cases come in. Now, what's a unified namespace? First element, event-driven architecture. So there are producers, there's a message broker in the middle, and then there are con consumers. And that's, that's basically it. Standard IT event-driven architecture. Element number two is the standardized topic hierarchy. So instead of just pushing everything into random topics, you say, okay, the topics need to be defined in a very well-structured format. And usually what people talk about unified namespace is this ISI 95 type of hierarchy, enterprise side, area, line, work cell. Uh, this is very commonly used. Then element three, messages are sent to the message broker regardless of the immediate presence of a consumer. So this might feel a little bit weird for an IT person and one might want to save data, so let's not publish everything there. Do we really need it? But in the end, these are IT systems. They don't care if you send 100 or 1,000 data points in it. They might measure not in the amount of tags you have, but in the amount of meg megabyte or gigabyte per second that, that they can handle. It's mostly free. So what a lot of people do is they just connect everything to it, send all the information there, because very often it's easier to just simply send all the data than in a later stage, a couple of years later, to go back to the con consumers and start sending more data if you decide on later point to, that you want more data. So that's a little bit uh, a trade off there, but most people just start sending everything there. Fourth point, fourth element, stream processing or data contextualization. So all the data that's now coming into the message broker uh, might not be in the ideal format, might not be in the ideal topic hierarchy. So you typically have beside the message broker also a stream processing element that takes in data and processes it and puts it into the right topic or does an average or changes a little bit the payload. And then the last element, not everything might directly speak MQTT or the protocol of the message broker. So you have, well, we call them protocol converters. There are a lot of other names out there, components that sit beside some original data sources that don't speak the protocol, that connect to it, for example, connect to an OPC UA server, take the data out of it and then start sending it to MQTT and then also the other way around. That's the uh, five elements of a unified namespace. So thank you for watching and if you like this content feel free to check out all the other stuff that we are doing here. Just check out the description and you will find their links to YouTube, to our blog articles, podcasts and all the other stuff that we have been doing. 